Author Christopher Buckley made a huge splash with his bestseller. You remember Thank You for Smoking? Then you remember it became a blockbuster movie. He is one of the leading names in political satire. His new novel focuses on China. It is called They Eat Puppies, Don't They? Yeah. Christopher Buckley, welcome. <laughs> Good to be here it's with nice you. It's nice to have you here. It's very nice to be here. Christopher Unlike Bur Hillary Clinton, I do need makeup. <laughs> no, Christopher, before you came in, Charlie said you were one of his favorite people. I saw the shot of you guys in the green room. Charlie, you were cracking up. What did he say that was he's so funny to you? He's just the funniest man you know. He really is. And he, un well, look at the movie. Look at the books yes, he's written. Yes, yes, All you yes. have to do is yes. read what he can do with a line and understand this. So, so satire, tell me about satire and the place it plays today. Well, satire is tricky in America today. Uh, you're in a losing competition with tomorrow's USA Today. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I finished this book a year ago. You, if you look at the acknowledgments page, you'll see it's dated June 21st, uh, 2012. And it came out, you know, yesterday and two weeks ago. Uh, President Obama was kind enough to pre-promote the book by making, uh, introducing the subject of canine dining. Yes, I was thinking about <laughs> you. Very yes. nice of him. I would like yes. to say, Mr. President, thank, thank you. you. Take this opportunity to say thanks. Yes. And then next week there was a, a story about uh, 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 wiretapping within the Chinese Politburo. Mm. There is a poisoning uh, scandal yes, going yes. on in China. No, it, it you all can't lined, make a, a this poisoning stuff up. of a British citizen. Or actually, you can and make yes. it up. But, and it uh, all lined up for you because in your book, your your victim mm -hmm. is the Dalai Lama, which I have to say, just the thought of someone trying to poison the Dalai Lama, I don't know what it says about my sensibility, but that started cracking me up. You describe him as a 75 <laughs> year old sweetie pie with glasses and, and saffron the mandal rose yes. and sandals and the hugs and the yak butter and, and all that. But um, I, no, I thought he would. In, in, in the book, the book is about a uh, defense lobbyist who's tasked with fomenting anti-Chinese frenzy mm -hmm. in order to get a weapons program through the, uh, through the appropriations That would be Bird McIntyre. So he's trying yes. to figure out what could get, his, his, his superiors say it's time to put the red back in red China. <laughs> Although the reddest thing these days is surely well, the U.S. budget. Well, sort of budget. had that idea. Bo Xin Lai, who has now, you know, ran into a serious bit of a his career impediment. Yeah, uh, right. Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Boshi is, in detention, is uh, in detention pending uh, uh, being investigated for poisoning, allegedly poisoning uh, Mr. Hayward. Yes. It's uh, it's uh, interesting things. So going is satire hard to write? Well, writing is hard, as, mm. as you know. Uh, uh, satire is uh, again with satire the uh, what you what you are up against in in especially in America is 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 reality so you want to keep it <clears throat> just this side of, of plausible perhaps which I don't always succeed <laughs> in doing but as my critics many critics uh, point out but, Christopher uh, Buckley, but it is fun uh, you know, satire. they say about your your latest book if I could mention the title again because oh, I even think that's you could just humorous. hold the book up oh, uh, be yeah, glad so, to uh, they yeah. eat puppies don't they yeah. reasonably they said, priced too. reasonably priced they said people that like Buckley's work is twenty five ninety nine <laughs> people that like Buckley's work will be that his record stays intact his intention to amuse and offend is still very much there. Is that what you want to do, amuse and offend at the same time? Because you, you're an equal opportunity knocker against people. No, really, I'm, it's all about making money, Gail. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and I'll, I'll do that any Mission way I can. Yeah. Uh, you also wrote a book about your parents. I did, uh, I did. Right after your dad yes. died. So this is my return to, to satire. To satire. Well, I wish they so would harder. say his long-awaited return to satire, but they haven't said that. Well, how about yet. eagerly anticipated return to satire? Eagerly anticipated. That's better, isn't it? I'll go for that. Okay, go good. That. Yeah. Was that book so much harder than to write satire because it was so deep and, and loving as well as candid and personal? No, that book actually, I won't say it wrote itself, but uh, it, it, it wrote itself in 40 days, as a matter of fact. No, mm -hmm. no biblical uh, reference is intended there. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a book I had to research. It was about my parents, mm -hmm. uh, both of whom died within the year. And it just, I had no intention of writing it. And then one day I sat down and write it. They were two, you know, larger than larger life. Than you life. knew them yeah. uh, quite I, well. Very well. And uh, there, there is no one like Bill Buckley on the scene today. I mean, he really was 
Uh, not only well, there's Charlie Rose. Who, uh, <laughs> and there's Gail. No, no, we're not no, like Bill no I'm not getting. I, I can't even get in the conversation yeah. about Bill Buckley. No, I admire your dad but, very much. What did he? What was the most important thing that he taught you as his son? What did he leave you with? I, I won't say that I learned all the wonderful lessons uh, that he imparted. He was a, a profoundly a generous and patient uh, man. He was he was he was uh, a, a, a good man in, in, in so many ways. I, I learned about uh, maybe sixteen uh, percent of, of, okay. of that. Wow. But he was his. Uh, I would say his uh, his generosity, uh, mm -hmm. to, to which I aspire, but have, but cannot uh, cannot say I I've he completely spoke, learned. He spoke at his dad's uh, service memorial service, and he mm -hmm. said his dad taught him three things: you got to plant a tree, have a child, and write a book. Oh. Well, that was actually Jose Marti. I was quoting, quoting, quoting Jose, Jose Marti, Marti, the great uh, Cuban leader. But uh, uh, not, not a bad uh, no, uh, no, not trio. not a bad way and to he, live. He, he, he did all that, and he sailed around the world. And he, anyway. He, and he changed history with uh, national the movement. That, uh, many, not just... We have to remember another great person today, so I have to say thank you very much for coming here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. The book is called They Eat Puppies, Don't They? <laughs> I like the title. It's now on sale at your favorite place to buy your books.